you said to me at, at this point, um, well, we got to do a book proposal. Right. Which was totally new to me because I've always written fiction, and fiction, you always have to write the whole book because the publisher is not going to, wants to know it actually works, wants to see the whole thing in front of them. The thing about writing a book proposal for narrative nonfiction, narrative nonfiction are, are books like The Perfect Storm, like uh, Black Hawk Down. And that is where you have a third person journalist slash writer explaining events using the techniques of fiction to tell a, a nonfiction uh -huh. story, right? So um, the most important thing for writing a proposal in narrative nonfiction, you must make it definitive and original and, you know, got a lot of juice. So, so the proposal is what the writer gives to, or the agent takes to publishers, exactly. hoping to get a deal, right, right, an advance. Exactly. Uh -huh. So you're not writing for for Joe Reader, you're writing for an editor. And here's what happens for an editor in a publishing house. Because okay. I was there. Yeah. I, I believe right. me, I can tell. <laughs> it's probably even worse today. Uh -huh. Okay. When I was an editor. Uh, I would get a, say I'd get a narrative nonfiction proposal from an agent. The first thing I'd do is, if I fell in love with it, and you always hope you do, contrary to popular belief, editors want to love everything that comes across their desk, uh -huh. and it rarely happens. Uh -huh. But when it does happen, you're so excited that what you do is then take it to what they call the editorial board. Uh -huh. And an editorial board is meets every week, and it's all the editors in the company, the publisher, the head of marketing, and the head of publicity. And before you have that meeting, you distribute the proposal. So I would send it to each one of the editors, my friends, my foes, everybody in between, the marketing director, the publisher, the editor-in-chief. So everybody, before the, the night before the meeting, and I was an editor, so I'd get uh, lug home all this stuff the uh -huh. night. Ours was on a Wednesday morning. Uh -huh. So Tuesday night, everybody goes home with a stack of stuff. Uh -huh. They read through it all. And then you have the meeting the next day, and they go, Sean has a proposal about the Six-Day War in from some guy named Steve Pressfield. What does everybody think? Uh -huh. And then they pile on, and they say, hey, I, I thought it was terrific, and, you know, Mazel tov, you know? <laughs> and other people will say, well, I just don't know. Pressfield's only written fiction. He has no name in nonfiction. To, for him to be able, and he's not a journalist. And so as an agent today, I am always thinking of what those people around that table are going to say. Uh -huh. Right? Right. Now, the bottom. That's the audience, in that's other words. That's what audience. you're writing it for. You're okay. Writing to a very select group of New York editors, publishers, marketing, publicity people. So you need to psychologically really write for that and ask yourself these questions. What's going to make them shine? What's going to make them feel good, like they're making a great decision, like this book is a slam dunk, let's do it, let's, uh -huh. you know, damn the torpedoes, we're all going to put our chips in on this book. Now, is there like a standard format for a proposal? Like you start with overview and then go, oh, is there is, uh-huh. Well, yeah, but it's malleable. Uh -huh. So um, the most important thing is the first page. <laughs> uh, I get everything. Right? And what is, what is the first okay, page? The, the first proposal? page is, and I, this is my, this is my technique as an agent. The first the first chunk of the proposal has to be as if you're reading the final book. Ah. So the editor, and I call it a prologue, introduction forward, or whatever. But it's basically, if we were to go five years in the future and have your book in front of us, and we turn to the middle of it, and there's this great scene, that's the scene I want the editor to read. Ah. So it doesn't have to be the first scene in the book. No. It's a, okay. It's like, you know, memoir, like we were talking about the other day. Uh -huh. A memoir, people, you have to take the, the you have to edit your moments, right? Uh -huh. You take the best moments in your life and you shrink and you uh -huh. write. That's exactly so let like me see, Let me just do one thing here. Okay. So this is, this is from Solitary by Gary Would this, would the following be the first page of the book? I am dangling beneath my parachute. 
gazing down from a height of 10,000 feet, knowing I'm going to be killed in less than 15 minutes. Would that be? That's it. That would be the, so that the are hope is, yeah. are we hooked? Are we, right, okay. Yeah. So it, that's page one. It doesn't, it doesn't, you can't make it read like a proposal. Uh huh. I don't want to hear a sales pitch. Do you want to go into a, a car dealership and hear a sales pitch? So it's like a movie trailer, right? Yeah. In a way you want exactly. the, the audience to go, wow, I can't wait to go see. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. So you want to grab them with a prologue and it's got to be so good that the editor in their mind starts to make uh -huh. their own pitches to their own colleagues. Uh -huh. This is just like Black Hawk Down meets Band of Brothers. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted people to think when they read uh -huh. your proposal. And the other thing that, that the proposal lacked was a definitive throwdown statement. Dude, your proposal's called The Six Day War. What is this book about? 